Hello there, and welcome to Stephen Tries Less. Yes! This week, I'm joined by Max... S- I want to say Smith? Well, yeah, you, you're bloody right. Ooh. Ten years Ooh. of friendship. <laughs> I'm going to pull you up on something. The bloody. This is a friendly channel. I know the amount of families that sit around and <laughs> put one of these videos on. Don't use the words that I'm going to use today. No, that's, that's not how this. That's not how this should go. Don't say the following words. <laughs> just get money. Good little Bernie. Little Bernie Sanders. Uh, <laughs> put a naan bread in the oven, but it got all the way to the back because as I tried to grab it, you should put your nan's bread in the oven. <laughs> she was fuming. Hey, you'd have burned it. <laughs> She went too far. Ever heard of the term Nepo Baby? Is that a sequel to Boss Baby? No, it's not. I love that. It's children who have sort of been handed a career through their, their parents' fame and fortune. Generally, it's a, you know, their family has is in the business and they've just sort of slid in there. In the same way your father reacted to YouTube videos, you, you just <laughs> found yourself... Oh, well, look, look what happens. Here's Max doing it as well. My dad would constantly fall in rivers. And, uh, <laughs> I always consider myself a nippo baby okay. because I used to suckle on my mother's teat. <laughs> used to. Let's get into this week's nepo baby. Oh. The nepo baby. The son of the biggest power couple in the world, I'd say. Posh and Bex. Yeah? Posh Spice. Nice. David Beckham. Exactly. There we go. Probably of our generation, they were the biggest. Yeah, I'd get rid of the sh- stupid It just hand doesn't fit around. Sit- I mean, the green is going to be causing chaos. Look at this green. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this green bouncy ball. Brooklyn Beckham. Not Romeo Beckham, who was in a, a Chris MD video. He, said, he was very much the Ryan Lock of our channel. He just turned up and didn't speak. Thank you so much, Romeo. I really, really enjoyed that. Absolute pleasure. This is the clip that sort of uh, put him on everyone's radar. Uh, I don't know anything about this. Guy, Think Curtis Pritchard. Oh, that's a, bad. But times a million, because he's got millions. Hey, man, what do you do for a living? Your car's awesome. Oh, my God, I know you. I'm a chef. You're a chef? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's famous chef, Brooklyn Beckham. Oh. Uh, the most famous chef there. they got Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Because <laughs> that's a fake chef. Oh, the editor. Calling him out there. Genius editing. I was wondering, how did he afford his $1.2 million <laughs> McLaren P1? He's a He's chef. He's a chef, of course. Doing his apprenticeship. <laughs> working his way up the working system up. to the head of Harvester. Where he makes $1.2 million a month. Are you like the best chef in the world? <laughs> Trying to be. <laughs> Trying to be. Humble. He's so bloody humble. But man. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. What's your chef name? That's a thing. My name's What's your chef name? Cooklin, back. Cooklin, yeah, that's good. That's nice. Good. All I've got is Bernie, apparently. From a naan bread. What do I know? Bernie naan bread. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why he's driving. <laughs> Bloody <bus>. three wheel. <laughs> the bus. Just need to stop at the hospital, guys. <laughs> Any advice people trying to get into, like, cooking? Yeah. Um, I want to hear this. <laughs> he's, got, he's got Ellie on the air. <laughs> Stole it for time. <laughs> just follow your passion, whatever makes you happy. Oh, just follow your passion, whatever makes you happy. I used to love putting jam on bourbons. Well, that worked, Brookie. That might work. I if you to... can find people like you. I think there are people like me. They're in little detention centres <laughs> around, the, around the country. I've never been to LA. You have, haven't you? I have, and I had constant conversations like that. <laughs> what gas is? <laughs> what do you do? Follow passion. Follow your passion. <laughs> I've decided to look at... The various careers Brooklyn Beckham's had. I think first passion, which was photography, this great book oh, that he no. did. My photos, my words, <laughs> my life. Just turn to a page. This That's is awful. <laughs> That's so bad. Elephants in Kenya. So hard to photograph. One of the biggest mammals in the world. <laughs> Don't put a picture of me behind here, James. <laughs> but photo- incredible to see. <laughs> see It'd what? be incredible for us to see it. Hey, this looks like me in the dark. <laughs> just some holiday pictures. <laughs> what the this is just a photo album. More on that later. This is Brooklyn's guide to Instagram. Max, you don't need this guide. No, um, I've got some great pictures on there, on mine. Do you still have that picture of mackerel somewhere? It's fine, but when every single photo on your profile consists of a photo of yourself, you need to rethink your Instagram. Don't forget to look for interesting things going on around you instead. <laughs> <laughs> is this what happens if you grow up rich? You just is personality development. Is that a part of you know having to make friends? Having to, yeah, it must be. Do you want to be my mate? Character <laughs> development. Yeah, he has had none of that. Yeah, you know, he, he didn't have to worry about surviving in school by no. being fun or anything. Because his dad's 
David Beckham. Yeah, everyone just wants to be friends with him because yeah. of that. Wow. God, this, this has gone deep. See, so people wanted to be my enemy because of who my father was. <laughs> Let's just see an interview about his photography. When I was uh, 13 and I was, I was picking my GCSEs. I was going through a whole list of things I could do with my mum. <laughs> no, your, your, your mum can't do your GCSEs for you, but... You do your book for you, though, <laughs> apparently. I just saw, like, everything was blurry except, like, photography, which was really weird. It's almost like one of your pictures, if anything. <laughs> I started really enjoying it, so my dad bought me my first camera, a Fuji film, And, um... I'm so started. proud of that. You heard of Fuji? <laughs> Have you heard of film? <laughs> and a few years later, Penguin came to me. Oh, <laughs> It's one thing to name drop these big things, but then it's the pause and then go. <laughs> Penguin came to me. It was in the, the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get a picture, but they're so fast. I was with my mum and dad, and so we kind of just went through what ones were strong enough to be in the books, what ones weren't. Oh! I need to see the ones yeah. that were weak. My boy's tatted up. Oh, he's got his camera on his bicep. Is that Fuji film? I bloody hope so. <laughs> Do you reckon he's got a frying pan on the other one? <laughs> <laughs> now we move on to... Oh, 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 oh. Cook Beckham. He studied, he knuckled down photography and then became a chef. His yeah, food, that's good, yeah. His yeah, food's yeah. anything like his yeah, personality. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be bland. Great start. Just uh, yep. got a jar. Yeah, when aren't you seeing Gordon Ramsay do that? Where's my Dolmio? <laughs> The tomato sauce meets cheese and... Ba what? How do I do this? <laughs> what have I discovered? <laughs> You're kidding. He followed the recipe on the back of a jar of Dalmio and that's him. That's his TikTok. Wipe the dish with a serviette. Genuinely, when I was 11 years old, yeah. I, could, I could make that. That's how he's afforded his sports car. From his cheesy pasta. Make some squish burgers. Here we go. Have I bet they're not even his hands. Ooh. There's somebody behind him. <laughs> Just his mum and dad. Go on, son. I will eat anything. Like when I was a kid, I was a kid who'd eat worms or dirt for a buck, you know? For a buck? What? She's American, so that means uh, just one dollar. Whereas over here, you'd be doing that for a Roald Dahl novel. <laughs> I leave that for the twits. <laughs> and then so you know, to Brooklyn Beckham, how is that relatable? <laughs> Who definitely hasn't even touched dirt in his life. Do you remember the first recipe you posted? I think it was the steak quesadilla. <gasps> yeah. Oh. oh, it's got to be, right? Yeah. It's got to be, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> steak quesadilla. <laughs> ah. I love cooking steak, so. Because oh. yeah, you don't have to do much to it. You just put it on the frying pan and turn it over once. He was uh, hanging out with Mick Jagger, and Mick Jagger ordered a... <laughs> Brooklyn's gone! <laughs> Finished! <laughs> no, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, you stay to the end. No, Dad normally does this part. <laughs> Get Bernie down, Brennan. He's the one that doesn't been cooking for me. <laughs> he just stands over the counter, come on. Half a job, Brooklyn. <laughs> And toasted brioche. Cheers, Brooklyn. Thanks for the input. <laughs> no need for salad or sauce. No, 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 no. Let the blue cheese speak for itself. Shall we? Yes. Now, here's the thing. Cooking shows on TV, yep. the way they react, as it touches their lips, they're going, mmm. I think she's going to make the noise before it even touches her lips. Right. No, yeah, that no, is not you have not time. tasted that. What she's tasted there is the brioche bun. I get the feeling that he just doesn't want to be there. You know, this seems to be a trait of the Beckhams on YouTube content. Do you take free kicks and matches? Just go and be rich. It's just, it's just taking up someone's job. How many better chefs are that they could be, you know, promoting yeah. their business? And we get it's not his fault, but f off. Yes! Oh, yeah. no, no, no. It's insufferable senior and insufferable junior. <laughs> now, Brooklyn, we wanted to test your culinary skills mm -hmm. against my own. Equal qualifications, to be fair. <laughs> against my own. Okay. Okay, in a friend... <laughs> Don't laugh. No one was. <laughs> Ow. Love comedy. It's only three years. And this guy's doing it better than I ever could. <laughs> what a joke, Stair. But yeah, his hand on the garlic. <laughs> He's not even trying. It's raw! <laughs> <sighs> just a fake laugh, that's all he's doing. What are you doing with a string? In, in, my, in my TV show, I went to this restaurant. What? What? He's got a TV show? Nah, I'm sick of yeah. this. That came on the show. I'm not, really can I be honest? Please. I've switched off. I'm not listening. 
Have yeah, we all? Yeah. I, I, I just don't care. We're going to watch his cocktail. I am struggling with this. He's, he's drained me. I'm very experimental. <laughs> We know a thing or two about making drinks yeah. and making it entertaining. Working on the last bit. Let's see how he does it. Recipes, you know, I'm a nutter in the kitchen. <laughs> We've seen that. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make two of my favourite cocktails, which is a lychee martini and a gin and tonic. Gin and tonic? What? It's not a cocktail. You've combined gin with tonic. It can't be done, Brooklyn. You nutter. Ice. I love because I like my drinks really cold. <laughs> you put ice in a glass. You've gone rogue, Brooklyn. <laughs> You've gone rogue. Oh, he's thinking of his next concoction. Maybe Red Bull and, and vodka? No, <laughs> no, Red. <laughs> You're losing it. You're losing it. I used to love going to the pubs with my friends, but obviously now that I'm married and... Oh, the old ball and chain will let me. <laughs> <laughs> Just cuts him in a pub with his <laughs> cap. Brooklyn! Get down! <laughs> Monkey 47 gin. I'm going to add some lime in there. Some cucumber, some rosemary, and some mint. You want to slow down George's Marvelous Medicine, <laughs> eh? It's probably doesn't put a steak in it yet. <laughs> Start off with some Grey Goose vodka. He's to get someone to open that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it, it. I'd love to see the out. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Mummy! Just behind the bar. <laughs> Every time he's been on TV, they've been just below them. <laughs> he's just got a nappy on underneath. <laughs> He, he's not learned anything. <laughs> you get the monkey 47. I pour about that much. Oh, that's good. That's a good specific amount. It's that woman that does, I'm going to put a shot of vodka in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever had canned lychee. It is so good. You guys should try it. That's Brooklyn Beckham. Absolutely miserable. It really is miserable. Now we move into the third chapter. Third? Which is married. <laughs> which is married Beckham. He's now married, and it seems that's his new career, is having a wife. Great career if you can get it. Absolutely. Takes a couple's quiz. Here we go. Okay, th this sounds good because you feel like there's going to be a bit of personality there. Hi, I'm Nicola Peltz. Hi, I'm Brooklyn Beckham. And, and this, this is, is the GQ, GQ couples, couples quiz. quiz. 20 minutes? Name all of my siblings. Matt, Will, Brittany, Brad, Diesel. Sorry. Fucking Diesel. <laughs> Diesel. <Hey. laughs> I'm into me motors. I'm into sports cars. Hey, dinner. It's Diesel coming to the world. <laughs> Hey! Does anyone know of any lawful reason why these two should get married? <laughs> zoom zoom! My wife! Be specific. What is my night routine? So, she puts on this little robe. Oh, I don't care. I like how this whole section is called homicide. <laughs> <laughs> and then she kills three people. Let's get into fashion Easter. Sorry, so we're skipping the marriage. <laughs> Here they are in a robe. Oh, for God's sake. Hi guys, this is our Just One Thing look. Ah, uh, of course. Every chef wears their baggy <laughs> jeans. <laughs> I would love it if he comes out and it's all chefs. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hair <laughs> Yeah, it's a dinner lady. She takes a piss of how I say it. It's Doc Martens, but I say Dr. Martin. I love their banter. <laughs> You've confused that with the, the hit ITV sofa <laughs> starring Martin <laughs> Clunes. <laughs> you stupid <laughs> Oh, Brooklyn. You're not wearing a pair of Martin Clunes, are you? And then I'm wearing my scuffed up Dr. Martins. Are they boots that they've made look worn in? <laughs> I think so. Because mine used to look like that because I'd had them for like five years. I just put other Chanel pins on and then this is my brother made this. Classic Diesel. <laughs> made the badge. <laughs> no, I didn't steal it. <laughs> made that. You sell me nappy up. <laughs> Not got one on anymore. Free range. <laughs> Free range dinner. Free range dinner. I love this outfit on him. I don't know why that's her favourite look on him. I think she might be a lesbian. <laughs> Sunday. Stevie Wonder looking like. <laughs> We're hungover from Friday. Don't speak. <laughs> These are I don't care. Trouble. So boring. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to chefs, you've got Kay. Kay, yeah. Possibly a Nepo baby. <laughs> but he's just 
down with all Nepo babies. If you have a relative who's been successful, it's famous in any way, shape or form, go into a cave. That's the rule. When I watch any film now, I'm going to go on Ancestry.com mm-hmm. and search every single name in the credits. That was Brooklyn Beckham. Well, I hope this was enjoyable in some way. <laughs> I've had a miserable time watching him. I've had a good time because I've been able to hang out with my good friend Stephen, which is always a pleasure. No, he's going to hang out of me. <laughs> Max, there's something really important he wants to say. Guys, smash that like button. Share this with all your friends and family. Absolutely. Even if you're a strange no, from them. Not a famous relative. Write in the comments why you enjoyed this episode. Yeah. Stay safe. Stay humble. Ciao. <laughs>